What's up guys? Welcome back to MB Disc Golf. Today we have a pretty uh, different video for you today. Uh, we got a package from Pop Top Disc Golf. Uh, they're a pretty awesome disc golf channel here on YouTube. Uh, we'll put, you know, like their kind of information right, right down here across the bottom of the screen. But uh, they sent us a little challenge box and we're gonna do a little challenge video today. We also sent them a box of some discs and they're gonna open it and uh, do a little blind reveal challenge. So uh, we thought we'd collaborate a little bit and have some fun and send some, each other some discs and that's what we have today. So uh, this is my, our first time opening this box and see what's inside, see what our challenge is from these guys. Let's go. Right. A nice little note there. Ooh. Hold box. Dang. Read this first. The top disc is the ultimate prize for whoever wins this challenge. This will be a one disc round for nine holes. You can start to use your putters to putt. You can use your putters to putt. <laughs> one of you will pick either one or two, and that will be your disc you're using. Top disc is one, bottom disc is two. Choose before revealing. Have oh. fun. P.S. Love your channel. Keep up the awesome work. Well, uh, Pop Top, if you guys are watching this, which I assume you guys probably will, thank you so, so much. This is amazing. Uh, do you show off that, uh, that top? Yeah, this I'll, I'll show it surprise. off again. It's a sick Hades. Five time? Five time Hades. Six time. Six time Hades. Yeah. Sorry, can't count. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hey, if you guys can tell, it's freaking cold. It is like hurt your face cold out here. So it's 19 <laughs> degrees. Um, so Pop Top, this is for you. Um, thank you so much. And you guys for wa who's watching right yeah. now. Um, so one or two? Uh, two. All right, he's gonna go two. I'm gonna go one, so I get the top disc. He gets the bottom one. All right. All right, what's the reveal? Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. A groove. <laughs> A champion groove. I don't think Colin knows the I history have, of the groove. I have never thrown or even heard of one of these. Look at the bottom of it. Oh, that's that's some interesting stuff. Right yeah, there. and then the bottom one is a champion monarch, a similarly similarly strange disc from Innova. Both of these, for anyone who doesn't know, the uninitiated, both of these discs from Innova were sort of experimental and kind of a a way to have a uh, the same weight of disc, but kind of experiment with the shape underneath and try and get more of a. Uh, different wing shape. So the Groove and the Monarch both have this same kind of weird, very hard to see. Can't pick it up, but there's this weird, for lack of a better term, Groove. Hmm. Um, hence the name. And uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, you guys will find out. They're interesting discs. Yeah, for they, sure. They do not fly how they're supposed to. Huh. All right, so we're gonna jump into it. Uh, it's freezing cold, so let's get moving and get warmed up. Thanks, guys, for watching. All right, we're out here in Goshen, Indiana at the Disc Disciples Disc Golf Course. Um, just a wide open, kind of pitch and putt, nine hole course. Uh, we're gonna start with hole one. It's down around this uh, garage thing on a mound. So we're gonna go forehand, and since we have a nice driver, forehand with the, with the groove, I guess. I have no idea what it's gonna do. It'll be interesting. It's either going to be the flippiest thing known to man or super stable. All right. I guess the glove has to come off. Here we go. Oh. Hey, we'll take that. That was actually a pretty good <laughs> shot. Nice. <laughs> that was so, actually really that's good. That's so slipped on the tee pad. <laughs> There's plenty of snow to go around. I was not mentally prepared for this today and throwing this disc is not gonna make it any easier, but we're gonna try. So, oh, this doesn't even have light numbers on it. Light numbers on it. I know the other one is like... It's a 13, five, negative two, two. This is? No, mine was. Okay, so yeah, you know what? We'll put the flight numbers at the bottom of the screen after we do some research. I'm gonna also try in forehand, and this could be spectacularly terrible. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, oh that boy! Flippy. That one's flippy. <laughs> I. Okay, well, it's flippy, guys. All right. So, 
Try to do a little upshot here with the glove on. Hopefully it doesn't end terribly. Actually, that's just... That's Remember, just, it's flippy. That's just asking for it. Yeah, just a little soft little... Still a driver, though. <laughs> and a headwind. Oh, yeah. Had an actually a decent shot with this disc. All right, we're going to try and put the gloves on. It's just too cold to take them off. Colin, if you make this, the groove is going in your bag. <laughs> Oh, we ran it, but uh, a little wide right. All right, to save par. Let's go. Nice shot, dude. <laughs> Hopefully I can keep that up today. Use my disc as a little marker. Nice. Yeah. All right, we're keeping it tied up through one. Both even par. Let's go. These are sweet. All right. We're on hole two, uh, again, throwing the groove. 13, six, negative two, two, this thing's nuts. Um, 320 feet, 28 feet, uh, just straight down there. Let's see how it does. Gloves, I guess, gotta come off for this one, for the drive. It, it doesn't get easier. <laughs> yeah. I just hope I don't eat it on this tee pad. Well, if you do, That's done Stable. left. Oh yeah. I was gonna say, if you do, at least I'll get it on camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Monarch. Remember now it's, it's all, fluffy. now it's all snowy. All right, go for the hyzer flip. Oh. Oh, that might be fantastic. A little short, I think it stalled up in the wind a little bit, but nice and line in the fairway. Upshot time. Oh, get in. Oh, just a little short. That was great. Thanks. Get a little upshot. Flick here. There right next go. to the basket. Nice. Hole three, par three, 258 feet. Just dead straight out there. See what it does. Oh, it slipped, and that's going left. Dang it. I tried to get over on it, but. I wonder what choice I have. I'm just gonna go nice big hyzer. Way short. Dang, that nice little flip up though. Yeah. A little side note, um, it's so cold, it's just the, cold is just killing all of our batteries. So if something just cuts off in the middle of a shot or something, it's that's that's why. That's our why. batteries are just dying <laughs> out here. Oh man, things we do. All right. I'll do another little forehand up shot. Whoa. That thing had some ground play. That skips Jeez. so much. Your first little Longer range putt attempt here. Oh man, that had some lift to it. Almost. Almost got there. All right, I need to hit this putt to stay even with Carson. Straight into a headwind. Darn it. Tried keeping it low because it was thrown into a headwind, but. Uh, Just a little too low. Dang. We'll tap her out. All right, Carson's up, even to one over. So I just had a random thought. It's actually kind of funny how the discs that we chose complement our games because I like throwing hyzer so much, and Colin likes to throw an anhyzer. But yeah. that being said, you know exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Try for a hyzer flip. Ooh. That's so good. That's gonna be tough to compete. Why do I like that disc? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's great for right now because we can't get any power because we're slipping all over the place. All right. Oh man. The gloves are just staying on, I guess. Look at that. Good shot, dude. Thanks. It's gonna be a little short, but we made it. Finally got the hang of it. I'm here. Carson's right up there. 
We're gonna run run this putt. Oh, oh my gosh! I thought I had it, dude. Oh, I thought I rang it up. I thought I rang it up. Now I have to as well. Get one more on Colin. Whoa, that was so well, that's come back here. Oh my gosh. Did this to myself here. Oh! Oh! Let's go. This yeah. is a conspiracy. This you <laughs> saw it. This is a conspiracy. Di who makes these dynamic discs? Yeah. Dynamic disc. I'm coming for you. Yeah. That that's bull crap. Yeah. Woohoo! I just want to say, guys, you know, you know what happened. You know what happened there. There was a, there was a conspiracy. We're all tied up. No, no, that's fake news. No, we are tied up. Nope, that didn't happen. And you guys saw it. And you know that um, the unofficial, the official score is not reflected um, by today's events. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. mm -hmm. he's just, he's just sore loser or sore chains. Just throw, outer. just throw. Okay. okay. All right, hole, well, hole five, it's across the way there. If you didn't know. Oh, that looks good. Stay and get down. Jeez. Oh, we're all the way down at the bottom of the ravine. Uh, I don't even know. There's a nice headwind right here. I kind of, this, this is interesting. I, I'm gonna try to just keep it low. I guess just go for eyes up again. Oh boy. Oh, now it decides, oh, that's gonna be fantastic. Hey. What? Oh. Okay, it died, but I'm not in the ravine. That, <laughs> whatever. That was wild. It got me here. Your roller. I, I don't know how. I'm not <laughs> complaining. Oh. Oh. Roll. Oh. Stop it. We ended up down here by all these bricks. Can't get my footing. There we go. Oh. That was short. I'll be right next to Carson. All right. Tap it in. Far. Carson. Tap his in. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> or slide down the hill. Come on, buddy. I'm just embarrassed now. <laughs> there we go. All right, tied up through hole five. It's still me first. Let's get this bad boy. Get it off to the right, right side. I'm throwing so short today. Which, Holy cow. Which is not great on this hole because this is hole six, 705 feet with a tailwind. And uh, I think it will be very interesting. I'm gonna try get a hyzer flip out of this with the tailwind, hopefully it just pushes it. But distance is an issue right now. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice shot. There we go. I'll take it. Losing battery fast. So. All right, here we go. Nice, good, safe play. Stay out of the tree. Okay, yeah, that's good position. That's not bad, that's not bad. There we go. All right, second shot. Oh. Too wide but I'll have an open approach to the basket. Yep. Whatever. One last little, make you guys happy. Mark it. All right, one last approach. Skip. Oh yeah. Let's You'll go. Like that. Still be a little short, but it's a putt. Left myself a lot of work here. Try to stay under the wind. Short, so short. It is short. So short. So, um, yeah, I'm not good at doing upshots with drivers, but we'll give it a run. This is to say par.
Oh, it just didn't come back. That was good height. Good line. Give him Colin a chance. Had a chance to take the lead. Don't mind the highway next to us. Oh! Yes! The wind dropped it at the last second. I thought that for sure that was in. Dang it. Guys, you know why. You know why that happened. Karma. Colin, will you tap me in? Huh? Can you tap me in? Tap me in. Thanks, bud. Oh, oh, don't, don't you dare. Okay, well, we're still tied. Hole seven, par three, 264. Basket's tucked behind that pine tree there in the middle. Uh, there's a parking lot right in front of us. So you have to clear the parking lot, parking lot's OB, uh, or you can go out along the right side where the grass is. So we're gonna try and keep it right. Hopefully get around the pine tree. That looks good. Really great oh, shot, dude. Oh, let's go. Yeah, that's, that's bull, under that's the basket. Woohoo! Bullseye. All right. It's gonna be rough. I can already feel it. All I can do is try. Oh boy! Flip up. Flip up for him. What? Sit down for him. No! No! The good news is, I think he crossed inbounds. I think I did. So, that, that just, oh my God. Oh man. It faded so tough. hard. Alrighty. All right, Carson just went out of bounds. Got a putt to save par, long putt. Oh, too straight. Ooh. Too That's straight. Tough. Right there. Here's the birdie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is gonna be a two stroke swing. Oh, now up two, I'm at even. Carson is at plus two. Let's go, it's looking good. Hole eight, 201 feet. Don't know if you guys can still hear the traffic or not. Apologize for that. Uh, but just straight ahead, 201 feet. Going with the groove again. We're swinging out right. Pretty good. And uh, oh, oh, oh my goodness! That flash of chains. Oh my goodness! I thought I aced, aced with the groove almost. That would have been electric. All right, Carson, you're up, buddy. I have very low expectations. That's just crosswind, understable. Heiser, I don't even know. Let's just do it. <laughs> Gosh dang it! Oh no. Roll? And it, oh, it roll, it's rolling back. Okay, it's gonna Carson be a long chance. Right a long chance. Carson stood right in the way. Need to make this to stay, stay with Colin. Oh, gosh dang it! <laughs> uh, looks like it'll be a par for Carson. Got to take care of business and then on to the last hole. Nice headwind. There you there go. go. On to the last hole. Last hole. Correction, I am plus one and Carson is plus three. So. Yes. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. All right, guys. This is the last hole. Colin is up two. He has the box first. He has an overstable disc. I have an understable disc. It is par three, 250 feet. So, and this is an island, this is an island hole. So yep. there's a little road that goes, you can kind of see the path in the snow, but yeah. It's all down to this, island. all down to this. So Colin's gonna sit the town here, playing for that Hades. Skip. Oh, and he makes it. He makes made, it. Made the island. Skipping off the ground. All right. Woo woo. All down. Last tee shot with the champion monarch. 
Get in. Oh, he made it. He'll be right by me. It's a long one. It's a long one. Can I hit it? Oh, oh, oh. just left. Just that left. That's a good run. So I'm up by two. There's no way Carson is going to do anything more than par at this point. So do I just lay up or do I run it for the content? I think I have to run it for the content, right? You have I to. I mean, that's, that's the YouTube way. That's right? the YouTube way. That's the YouTube way. Pop right. Top would be disappointed if we did okay, anything other than that. here we go. All right. This is for you, Pop Top. That was a run. Hey, it didn't go out of bounds. The wind just pushed it down. It didn't go out of bounds like I wanted it to. So <laughs> I guess that's good for you, Colin. This is just for uh, the good old pride here. Finish off with a good putt. Finish with some dignity. Nice right into no a headwind. headwind. Oh no. Into a headwind and apparently my dignity is gone. So that's great. Colin, you suck, but good job. Okay, yeah, here we go. It's done, that's it, that's uh -oh. it. Person's calling it. There we go. Finally, got it. All right. Because victory is mine, I don't want to show about a little bit. I'm just gonna finish off my putt with the groove. Oh, turbo putt with the groove? Now you're just being, you're just being rude at this point. Of course, of course he sticks it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. But Woo. that'll do it. That'll do it for the challenge. Yeah. All right. Colin is making a habit of winning on our channel, which I'm not okay with. But <laughs> this is from this is a special thing from Pop from Pop Top. So huge shout out first of all to those guys. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Go yeah. go show them some love. Yeah. Go check out their channel. You know, if you like them. Definitely hit that subscribe and like button for them, and uh, maybe for us too. But definitely for them because they are they are pretty cool. So. And with that, Colin is the winner. He gets this amazing Paul Macbeth six times ESP Hades. Oh yeah, that thing is sweet. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, that's a beautiful disc. So here's another cool shout out. Yeah, so. They're awesome have their own stickers. custom stickers. Those things are sweet. But yeah, Colin is the winner of this very strange, unorthodox channel uh, for today. So Pop Top, great, great uh, choices with the disc, with the Monarch and the Groove. Um, normally I would say for our videos, when we're showing off the disc to go try it, but uh, I don't. These are really <laughs> strange. Hey, I like this one. I, I know actually like the Groove. It was, I mean, I flash change up the house. I thought I was gonna ace for a second for sure. I'm sure they have, you know, like maybe, you know, maybe they have a place in people's bags, but uh, yeah, they are uh, weird. They are definitely weird. But uh, hey, thanks for hanging out with us guys. Thanks for watching MD Disc Golf. Special thanks again to Pop Top. You guys are fantastic. And uh, well, yeah, thanks for hanging out. See, See you guys. One. Peace out. Peace.